Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering On One Photo Raw 2018. This is our final video on the Browse module in On One Photo Raw 2018. In our next video, we'll actually start to process an image. But until then, we're going to talk about the couple things I've yet to discuss concerning the Browse module. Now, one of those things is called cataloged folders. And if you look over here at the top of the left-hand panel, you'll see there's a section called cataloged folders. Now, how are cataloged folders different than a normal folder? Well, they offer three distinct advantages. The first advantage is for search or filter capabilities. By default, if you're using the Browse module to filter your image, to find some images like we did in our previous video, On1 will only be searching the active folder, the folder that you have open. So for the sake of argument, let's say you have 20 different folders on your computer that contain pictures you'll only be able to search the folder that happens to be currently active. If you catalog your folders, you'd be able to search through all those folders without them all being open at the same time. So cataloging really does offer a firm advantage as far as search capabilities. And to catalog a folder is very simple. All you need to do is drag it right where it says, drop your folders here to catalog. And you'll remember in previous videos, I created two folders here, this bald eagle folder and a polar bear folder. So I'll take this bald eagle folder and I'll just drag it there. And you'll see this little information box pops up telling me what the cataloging folder enables. It enables searching, viewing subfolder contents, auto tracking of changes in the folder, also cache previews. For viewing folders instantly and we'll talk about that in a minute and it can take time but it's done in the background meaning if you're going to drag a huge folder over there with maybe a thousand images it may take a while for that to get indexed but you know just give it time and then once it is indexed it will go very quickly now we have this catalog folder of the bald eagles and you can see that it's active now i'll go back down to the original folder and I'll catalog and well right away you could see that this is a normal folder and over here on the left is a catalog folder you see it has a little heart sign in the corner so we'll catalog this one as well we'll drop it in there and we get that same info box now we have the polar bears cataloged as well so we'll go back to our original folder and now you can see that they both have hearts in the corner. So both of those folders are cataloged. Now, if I do a search, if I go over here to our filters panel and I click this little button, search catalog folders, now it will search through all those folders that are cataloged, even though they're not active. Now, right now, neither are active. I have the Buffalo Zoo folder open. And those folders are subfolders and they're not really open. So if I search for a red flagged photos by clicking there, you could see that the bald eagles popped up. It was able to find those very easily. Now let's say if I go into the polar bear folder and I make one of those red, and then I go back to our Buffalo Zoo folder and I do a search and I make sure that ca search catalog folders is checked. And you'll see that the polar bear appears also now. So it's able to search through all those catalog folders for an image. Now, another advantage it talked about, let me get rid of that. Another advantage um, it mentioned in that information box was about fast searching. And that really will help those of you that have slower computers. Um, if particularly you're in film strip view, and you're going from image to image using, let's say, your arrow key. You can see the image renders up above as you're going through your images, image by image. Well, that 
on slower computers may take a long time. If you catalog the folders first, that rendering will be considerably faster. And also, if you look here where it says raw previews, if you use fast, it will tend to render the images faster, but your colors may not render as accurately as they could. If you choose accurate, it will take longer for your images to render, but the colors will be more true. So that will help if you're processing images in your effects panel or effects module or develop module, and then you pop back in the browse module and they look different, looks like the colors are different than they were in the develop module, let's say, that come down here and just choose accurate. And if that folder is cataloged, it will render much faster. So keep that in mind. You may have to change your raw preview drop down to accurate to get accurate colors and to catalog the folder to make it render faster. Now there is a third advantage to using catalog folders and that concerns the second thing we're going to talk about in this video and that is albums, specifically smart albums, but we'll talk about that in a minute. All albums are, are like a collection of images. Now it's kind of like a folder, but where it's different is if I go onto my hard drive and look at the folders on my hard drive, you'll find that I actually have a bald eagle folder on the hard drive and a polar bear folder on the hard drive. And inside of those folders will be images. The difference with an album is it's totally virtual. There will not be anything created on the hard drive. There will not be a folder created holding these images. It's completely virtual and it will not take any more space up on your hard drive. So you're not going to be creating duplicates of any images or anything like that. So if I want to create an album of, let's say, these four shots of this black vulture, all I need to do is highlight them all. They come over here where it says albums and click on this little plus sign. And you can see there's two different types of albums, a regular album and a smart album. Now we'll take the regular album for first. We'll, first of all, we'll click that. And we're, it's asking us for a name. So I'll just call it Vulture. And I want to add the selected items. And it's there. Now if you look under Albums, we have one called Vulture. And there's our four images. Now if I want to get an image out of the album, all I have to do is highlight it by clicking on it and hit the Delete key. And it removes it from the album. It does not remove it from the hard drive. If we go back to our Buffalo Zoo um, folder, you can see it's still there. That was the one I deleted. Now if I want to add that image to that album, I just drag and drop. Just drag and drop it in there. And then it gets added back to the, to the uh, album. So it's very easy to put images in an album and to take images out of an album. Now, the other type of album is called a smart album, and that works with your catalog folders only. And this is a great, great feature that I use all the time. Let's say, for me at least, that I want to make an album of all the images that I'm going to print. I'm either going to send them off to a lab or I'm going to print them myself. So I'll give them all a red color flag. Well, I could search for them, but another way to do it is to just use an album, a smart album. So we'll click here and we'll create a smart album. And I'm going to call this uh, images to be printed. And now you pick the attributes you want those images to uh, have. If they have those attributes, they'll get added automatically to this album. Now you could pick, pick a lot of different settings here, you know, whether or not you liked it or had a heart or you picked it. Um, if it's totally unpicked, if it has an X, you, you didn't like that image, or if it has a specific star rating, a color label. Also, you could pick the date range. Do you want to exclude older images? So you want to pick images that are just done today or the last seven days or something like that. Also, you could do all those other advanced search um, parameters. You could search by aperture file name like I want all images that were taken with my uh, Nikon 
D850. And you know, I could put the camera in there and search for them that way. But we'll leave that blank as well. We're just going to do ones with the red color flag. Those were the ones that I designated I want to print. So we're going to click OK. Now you could see images to be printed, and you could see the uh, little icon next to it is slightly different than the Vulture icon. The Vulture was a normal album. This images to be printed is a smart album. And when I click on that, you could see that these images I had given red color labels to. Now let's say I decided that I do not want to print this polar bear image. So I could go over here and I could remove the red color label and it removes it automatically from that album. Now I could go back to let's say the polar bears and let's say I want to add this one. I want to add this one. So I'll change that to red. So now that has a red color label and I'll go back to images to be printed and you can see it's right there. So it automatically will get, get in, it will get put into that album if it meets the attributes you designed for the album or you, you um, said that album had to you know, have for an image to be in it. So it's very simple to remove an image or to add an image to the album. Now, one thing to keep in mind, again, it only works with catalog folders. So if I go to the Buffalo Zoo folder and I look through and I want to add, let's say, this image to that smart folder, so I make this red, it won't go in there because this folder is not a catalog folder. So when I go to images to be printed, you can see it's not there. So it really has to be a catalog folder. So smart albums only work, work with catalog folders. Personally, I'm going to catalog all my folders. Just makes everything much easier. I'll be able to search faster. I'll be able to search through all the folders, even if a folder isn't active. I'll be able to uh, have my image, image previews render faster. And I'll be able to utilize smart albums to their fullest capability because all my folders will be cataloged. So it's really up to you whether or not you want to catalog all your folders. So that's it. I think we've covered pretty much all the features of the browse module. In our next video, we're going to start to really process an image and we're going to work on the develop module next. Now I've been getting questions, does on one do this or does on one do that? Well, all I could say is I'm going to be covering just about everything in this video series. It's going to be a very long video series. But in the meantime, what I would suggest you do is On1 does offer a 30-day free trial, fully working, no restrictions. There will be a link below this video. Just download it and try it out for yourself. You have 30 days to work with the, um, the software. And if you like it, then you could purchase it after the 30 days. But that should be able to answer some of your questions until I get to the video that covers your question. All right. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.